Uba Uba Hop Zigzag Hop, here comes my friend Jungle lap, we must defend Uba Uba, his strategy His call, his philosophy I don't know any such thing. Now you blast open that ancient diamond mine immediately! Shinokara has been closed forever, and I want to extract everything I can before I plug it up with concrete. Yes, Miss Devort. Uh, boss. Mission accomplished. Once again, I got yelled at while waiting for you. What took you so long? Hmm. Ah! Next time, wait until we're further away before you press your stupid button. Well... Mission accomplished. <laughs> We've reopened Chino Kara. Diane doesn't have one of these. Uh, and I guess she won't anytime soon. I'm not sure bringing you along was such a good idea. Well, it's just that today is the anniversary of our arrival in Lumia, and I want to find Aunt Diane something she's never seen. What is it, Marsu? Hey! Wait for me! to see you. This tree is totally diseased. I agree, Marsu. It's a crime to destroy the jungle like this. But what could have caused so much destruction? What is it, Marsu? Greetings, small pale friend and furry yellow friend. <laughs> Mr. Topanga Dakota and Tofurky. You see, Marsu, I knew there was nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> it's not for you, it's for Hector. He likes to celebrate our arrival in the jungle every month. It's a month anniversary, so to speak. <laughs> Later, you can have some tonight. found something that appeals to them more than my cake. Good. The marsupilami in sixth oh, sense yeah. is really astounding. Mm -hmm. You have a gift for knowing everything. 
everything that's going on in this magnificent Palombian ecosystem. Let's see what you found. Ooh, it looks like an ant or a termite. But if I'm counting properly, there are only three of you. Where is... Hey! Mm. You're telling me that this ant is what devoured that whole stretch of jungle? This is not an ant. Mm. This is a Barbie antic termite. Oh. The Barbie antic is an ancient termite. Very ancient. The Barbie antic is a legendary creature. And it's this uh, legend that did all that? Not just one Barbie antic. There are many here, hmm? all around us. I don't see anything. You have to look with your ears. Hmm. Bah. Oh. Hmm. Oh. 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 They're in the trees. They're eating the trees. Mm -hmm. The Barbie antics are heading for the village. We must find a way to stop them. If the Barbie antics are heading for the village, then that means they're also headed for the campsite. We must gather the green, black, flaggy plants. Barbie antics do not like green, black, flaggy plants. Thanks for the advice, Mr. Topanga Dakota, but I have to go warn Aunt Diane. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. The Marsus are having quite a feast. And what a phenomenal appetite that little Bibu has. Oh, that's unusual. Most unusual. <laughs> and lots of fun. Aunt Diane, we've got a big problem. Indeed we do. This table is like Swiss cheese. Already? Oh no, they're already here. Huh? They're already here? But I'm not ready. Wait, who's already here, Hector? I didn't know we were expecting anyone. Aunt Diane, mm -hmm. in order to see them, you have to look with your ears. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm serious, Aunt Diane. Stop making faces. Uh, Hector, I am not in the habit of looking with my ears. So pardon me if I make funny faces. Why don't you just tell me what it is I'm supposed to be seeing? Um, the Barbie antics. In that case, there's no point in whispering. If you're talking about termites, there are plenty of them over there. And the Marsus are having a grand time eating them up. Do you mean to tell me that this, this puny thing is what's slowing down the mining of my diamonds at Chino Cara? You, and when I say you, I mean the two of you plus all your men. You're intimidated by a mere ant? A barbiturike mm -hmm. borofali. The barbiantic. It's a termite, a species that disappeared from the planet over a thousand years ago. Your entomologists have been quite clear. Uh, Entomo what? People who study insects. Thank you, my little Stroy. I know what an entomo thingy is. But Blueprint, those are... They're... They're ants. Termites. <clears throat> uh, they made their nest in the mine, and when we reopened it, we woke them. The rise in temperature caused them to come out of hibernation. Mere insects do not stop, divort, incorporate it. We squash insects, that's what we do to them. It's just that they move in a large swarm. A really large swarm. We're wasting time. I have chemical plans, so poison them, fumigate, burn, <laughs> and list feet to stomp on them. Wait. Don't do anything. Mm -hmm. The Barbie antic is efficient and free of charge. It will raise Palombia for us! We're not going to burn it. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 
In any case, I don't think eating an entire species is a solution to the problem. This Barbie antic is a fascinating creature. It's also really invasive. And at this pace, it's going to devour all of Colombia. <laughs> oh, blah. Mr. Topanga Dakota is going to use the green black flaggy plant to repel them. It's true that the black flaggy plant is known to be an effective termite repellent. That's a good idea. <coughs> The green black flaggy plant is making me flee, not the Barbie antics. <laughs> Repelling them won't solve the problem. Even if we save the village and the campsite, the Barbie antics will find some other part of the jungle to devour. We need to get rid of the Barbie antics without using a pesticide or any other means that will endanger Colombia. We know which way the Barbie antics are headed. They always move forward in a straight line. But where do they come from? Huh? It shouldn't be hard to retrace their path. Come now, Stroy, there's no point in sulking. Our work has never been this easy. Just follow the swarm of insects. <laughs> Why is Mr. Muscle sulking? He thinks it's humiliating having to herd a bunch of termites like a cowboy. It's embarrassing. I don't have time for that numbskull's mood swing. <laughs> if I'm happy, you're happy. If I'm mad, you're in big trouble. Do you get me? Your wish is out of command. Good. Now, I want you to make sure those Barbie thingies can eat all they want without being bothered. I want them to have a fabulous time devouring that tree-filled jungle. I'm <gasps> counting on you. Yippee! Yeehaw! Get along, little doggies. No sound of them. They've left. Hmm? Hmm. This one is in good shape. It's lucky they didn't eat it. A swarm of Barbie antics that size could devour all of Colombia in under a month. Normally, that kind of insect doesn't usually abandon its queen. Unless the queen left the nest as well. We need to capture the queen. If we can catch the queen, the others will follow. Hmm? But how do we do that? Oh, oh. Sorry, big guy. Looks like there aren't any termites left for you to eat here. Hmm? Marsu, there are termites in your fur. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> I think we should return to camp. Well, we know where Bibu gets his cast iron stomach. Yes, but if this creepy little scamp eats them, we won't have a single specimen to study in order to learn more about the Barbie antics. Stop thinking about your stomach, Bibu. Oh. And that goes for you too, Marsu. Hmm. Oh, great. Now there's only one left on Marsu's back. Observe how the insect doesn't move, Hector. It's in a profound sleep. And I just might have a theory as to why. No! Let's see where it goes. Astonishing! Our friend's furry pelt both attracts the Barbie antic and puts it to sleep. But only Marsu's fur. The fur of a male adult. Not the little ones or Mrs. Marsu's. That gives me an idea. It'll be a snap, Marsu. First, you lure the termite queen to your fur. Then, when you take her back to the nest, all the Barbie antics will follow. See? Hmm. Oh, 
Open up, Marsu. You're being ridiculous. Oh, bah! <sighs> They climbed into the nest, shut the lid, and refused to come out. Marsu doesn't want to be the bait for the queen. Well, he's a sensitive creature. In the meantime, look, I found exactly what we need to seal off that mine once and for all. It's silly string ivy. It grows at an astonishing speed. Mm -hmm. It's quite astounding the first time you see it. Wow. Uh, they grow so fast, I can't even see them move. <laughs> hey! You were saying? <sighs> Aunt Diane, you're the best! With your plant, we'll be able to close the mine without destroying anything. But we still need the most important piece of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. My area of expertise is plants. I'll leave you to negotiate with our furry friend. <laughs> Will you look at that, Stroy? Those insects do days of damage in a matter of hours. It's fantastic. No more need for bombs or chainsaws. All we need is one little push. It's boring without bombs. <laughs> it's my blood boil to see him happy like that. Those Barbie antics are doing Felicia Duvort's dirty work for her. <laughs> it won't do any good to teach them a lesson now. What you need to do is lure the queen back to the nest. Your move, Marsu. They stopped eating. I wonder if that's a good sign. The Queen! To the mine! Run! Just we get out of here fast! Hector, faster! I'm pedaling as fast as I can! <laughs> Sorry, Auntie Ann. I always forget that my tractor crawler is really slow. Uh, I'm not sure if I should scream or go take a shower. All we have left to do is pour the concrete. The future of Palamia is upon us. My little blueprint, turn around. It looks like the wrath of nature is upon you. Houston, we have a problem. Uh-oh! I hate it when he starts calling me Houston. Hmm? I can't see what's going on, Blueprint. Turn around! Turn the screen! That's an order! Oh, what are you waiting for? Go after him! Catch him for Pete's sake! No! Oh, Blueprint, you have the reflexes of a clam.
Columbia, but we also preserved a unique insect species. All that on the anniversary of our arrival in Columbia. This is great! Yes, Hector. And that's the reason my immobilis fascinates me. Hmm. Those flowers are very calm and relaxing to be around. Very relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm no longer allowed to mine Chino Kara because those dratted termites decided to go to sleep inside it. A protected species. Huh? Ah, yes, it is a disgrace. They'll protect anything nowadays. And what about me? Oh. Who's going to protect me from your constant bumbling? I've even been ordered to replant all the trees those dratted insects devoured. <sighs> Where is that clueless pile of muscles you call your partner? He's been in the shower for over 12 hours now. A big guy like him swarmed over by insects? Well, you can imagine it'll take a while for him to recover. Speaking of which, if you don't mind, I'd like to wash myself. <coughs> You've all gathered here to help us celebrate the anniversary of our arrival in Polonia. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not exactly a real anniversary, but it's a great occasion to eat a delicious cake. We also have a reason to celebrate. We would like to say thank you, the green-black flaggy plants, for a bad solution. Maybe yellow-black flaggy. Um, certainly, but my dear friend, I think that the yellow-black flaggy is more effective on flying insects. Now, I had to hide this one because we have quite a greedy little guy among us. Isn't that true, Bibu? Huh? Huh? Bibu? Oh, oh no! Uh, it's just like I said. Bibu inherited his father's appetite. <laughs> <laughs> Uber, Uber, hop. Bada, 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 b